It's incredibly important to use apps the right way. But sometimes you have no idea which settings you have to change in order to get the most of the program. That's what we're gonna talk about today, taking the Telegram Messenger. How to change your privacy settings, interface, create folders and much more to make your experience of using the Messenger more fun and exciting. Welcome back to the Teleblog channel. I'd like to welcome all our new and regular viewers. If you're still with me, hurry up and click the subscribe button to find out all the news and secrets of the apps and social networks. You may say that the perfect configuration is a matter of taste, and I agree with you to some extent. However, in Telegram there are basic primary settings that are important to get right, so it's not just about privacy. Let's start with the favorites folder. Unfortunately, the messenger doesn't allow you to configure or change it in any way, so all the content that you send there can only be found via search or by date. Here I suggest you create separate channels by each type of files, which will serve you as a place to store information by category. For example, you can create separate channels with photos, videos and other types of information. Next, we have recent calls. Here you can make a tab with calls visible or invisible on the main screen. It's a second in the list after the contacts. My recommendation is not to clutter up this part of the menu with the calls tab, because in fact it doesn't have any particular information. You can call a person by clicking on their profile and missed calls are visible in the chat list. The Devices tab will only be useful to keep track of what other devices your Telegram profile is open on. If you see some suspicious activity, immediately end the active session. Chats folder. To my mind, it's one of the greatest innovations everyone has been waiting for. I talked about this feature in detail in a separate video on the channel, but let me briefly tell you about what to do with folders right now. With this feature, of course, you can separate channels, groups, contacts, and so on. But I think the most useful folder for you would be the new folder. This one requires special settings. Click on Create Folder, call it New, add all the chats to the included chats, and most importantly, add red to the excluded chats. And if you don't need archived chats in this folder, you can add archived or muted too. And that's it. Now you'll get only those channels, groups and chats with new texts in them. And once you read them all, dialogues will disappear. This is the most convenient folder to my mind, which won't let you miss anything from your favorite resources or people. Of course, you can add something for work and some projects, but the new folder is a must. Next, we're moving on to notifications and sounds. Here the most useful and interesting settings are sounds and message preview. You can set up notification sounds separately for each group, channel or chat. This is quite handy because when your phone is in your pocket or on your desk, you can recognize the message by the sound. For example, it makes sense if you heard the sound that you configured for a particular person. You know immediately that you should come to your phone. And if it's from a channel, then it's not as urgent. For each of the groups, click on the sound option and choose some special one. Moreover, here you can customize the sounds for each individual channel, group or dialogue. To do this, go into the exceptions, select Add exception, then decide what you want to assign a special sound to and select them. The option to show message previews for each group will be useful if you don't want the messages to be displayed on a locked screen. When this option is enabled, all notifications will show the New Message badge. And we're halfway through. Next, I'm gonna talk about the importance of some Telegram's privacy, store and design settings. But before that, I wanna remind you to support the channel with your likes. If you wanna thank me, please give this video a thumbs up. Privacy settings are a big part of quality use of the Telegram Messenger. If you're a person who wants to protect themselves as much as possible, then it's worth turning on a two-step verification, a passcode that will be required based on the auto-log settings, and a cloud password that you will have to enter when logging into your Telegram profile on another device. I suggest you set the letter for sure, and the passcode is optional. If we take phone number, last seen and online, profile picture, calls, groups and channels, those are the options that you can set up whichever you like. However, with the forwarded messages option, I suggest you set none, so that all of your forwarded messages are anonymized. It's up to you how to set up automatically delete my account after a certain period of time. The main thing to remember is that if you don't access your profile for the selected period of time, it will be deleted and all the information along with it. 
In the data settings, the most useful feature is Sync Contacts. If you have a second profile, but you don't want the contacts from your phone book to appear on it, you can easily delete them. This would be useful, for instance, for work profiles where you only need specific contacts. Next, we're moving on to data and storage, where we can find a lot of interesting things. Going into storage usage, I suggest you change all settings to the minimum because Telegram collects a lot of information in its cache and thanks to these settings, it'll be cleaned regularly. Don't worry, nothing will change, the files will remain in the cloud and if you need to download something, you'll be able to do it anyway. In order not to download each photo, video or file sent to you, I suggest you click Automatic Media Download both via Wi-Fi and cellular. But of course, if you don't have a large data package, then in the Using Cellular tab, click Low or Turn it off at all. Besides, for files and videos, you can set up a specific number of megabytes up to which the download will happen automatically. Here I suggest you try different options and choose something in between so as not to clutter the cache. If you have a good internet connection, I advise you never save traffic in the appropriate settings, but in the menu Save Incoming Photos, I recommend you disable everything so that nothing is saved into the gallery, but of course, you can set it up as you wish. Then I recommend turning on the background download because it allows you to send certain files even if Telegram is working in the background. But pay attention that this will take some time, so if you are sending large files to someone, it's not recommended to close Telegram. As for the appearance submenu, here of course you can do everything as you wish, but I suggest you use the dark theme of the interface if your phone has an OLED display, because it can save a lot of energy. For example, it works perfectly for my iPhone 11 Pro Max. There's also another important add-on at the bottom, reduce motion, but turning it on will disable animations in the message bubbles and in the chat list, which will speed up the app. And last but not least, stickers. Here there are two nuances you need to pay attention to. Loop animated stickers, which will make animated stickers play continuously in chats. And the sticker sets. Tap edit and you can change their position depending on the use. And I hope that this video has revealed all the possible nuances of the perfect configuration for Telegram. Would you do anything differently? Let's take it to the comments. And I would like to remind you that if you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications, you won't miss a video. It's the Teleblog channel, subscribe and be trendy.